So then do you leave open the possibility that there may be a God that created everything? Of course. All the time. Oh, snap. No, that's not a snap. No, thing. wait a minute. No, we no. have just really opened up something. No one believes that about you. Let's assume that there's something in me that we can call belief. Okay. Okay. The level of belief I place in something will always be proportional to the evidence that supports it. Imagine your whole life pivots on something that you believe is true. Oh, I don't have to imagine that. Okay. That's already happened. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. So uh, this might be the case, for example, in religions. Yeah. Okay. So Christianity pivots on the resurrection of Jesus. Okay. That's a major feature of Christianity, and belief in that is a major tenet of what it is to be a Christian. Suppose you had access to a time machine, and you say, of all the events in the Earth history, what do you want to witness? I want to go back to the day where the rock was rolled away. Exactly. Okay, so and let's say- And they said, the angel said, he is not here. Okay, so now, you go back to that day. Uh-huh. And you see thieves roll it away and steal the body. That would be information that would completely destabilize. Crush everything. That's right. So that's the, the extreme version of what I think she was asking me. When was the last time you were wrong? And she wanted to know how willingly would I give up thinking I was right. So that, that's an extreme. I give that just as an extreme I case. You. But from a neurological standpoint, it wouldn't make a difference to most people. They would enter a state of cognitive dissonance and they would find a reason why that information that they see visually does not match with their belief. And then they would uh, find in, in a way to rectify it. 